Commander of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, Aerospace Force General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, said the late commander and head of the IRGC Missile Research Center, Martyr Major General Hassan Tarani Makadam, played a major role in the designing and production of the Khalid Fars Persian Gulf missile. Iranian experts at the IRGC Aerospace Research Center have increased the precision capability of the Persian Gulf supersonic ballistic missile to 8.5 meters. When in its second test the Persian Gulf missile hit a moving vessel with 30 meters precision, we felt to have made a great success, Hajizadeh said. When we explained the achievement to the Supreme Leader, His Excellency voiced pleasure in the increased precision of the missile, but demanded us to increase its precision capability to less than 10 to 15 meters, he added. Less than six months later, our experts improved the precision capability of this missile to less than 8.5 meters, Gen. Hajizadeh continued. And when the Persian Gulf missile came into operation in the IRGC Navy, the countdown started for the trans-regional countries to end the mission of their warships, the IRGC aerospace commander stressed. The supersonic projectile, which carries a 650-kilogram payload, is smart and immune to interception and features high-precision systems. The Persian Gulf supersonic ballistic missile is the most advanced and most important missile of the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, Navy. The distinctive feature of the missile lies in its supersonic speed and trajectory. While other missiles mostly traverse at subsonic speeds and in cruise style, the Persian Gulf moves vertically after launch, traverses at supersonic speeds, finds the target through a smart program, locks on the target and hit it. The range of the solid fuel missile is 300 kilometers, and it can be fired from triple launchers. The missile could successfully hit a mobile target one-tenth of an aircraft carrier in its early tests. Iran started the mass production of the Persian Gulf anti-ship missile, which is designed to destroy targets and hostile forces at sea. Hajizadeh noted the production of the Persian Gulf ballistic missiles and said, the research and testing phase of the Persian Gulf missile ended last year and it is now being mass produced by the defense ministry. Also in the same month, IRGC Navy Commander Rear Admiral Ali Fadavi underlined Iran's high defensive capabilities and power and said the newly developed Khalid e Fars Persian Gulf missile would make the enemies change their equations and calculations due to its unusual and unique features. The Khalid e Fars missile has been developed somehow different from the usual trend and can change the equations on which the enemy most relies, Fadavi said at the time. Referring to Iran's missile power, he said that the Islamic Republic of Iran is now in possession of homemade missiles, with the range of over 200 kilometers, which can be mounted on Iranian high-speed boats. Iran's Persian Gulf missiles displayed their 100% precision capability after hitting and destroying the specified targets in the last phase of the Payambari Azam 7, the Great Prophet 7, drills. The Persian Gulf missile precisely hit and destroyed the target, which was several times smaller than the marine targets which can pose a threat, commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh said at the end of the last phase of the wargams. Rear Admiral Tom Marfiak, USN, retired, the anti-air warfare commander during Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm, believes that although the U.S. Navy is well equipped to take out incoming missiles, no matter what their angle of approach, it would probably be easier to destroy the drones or aircraft that the Iranians would need to guide a missile, such as the college fars to a moving target. A key thing to keep in mind if Iran were to decide to employ such a weapon against a U.S. Navy destroyer or cruiser, there would be immediate consequence said Marfiak. There would likely be more than one U.S. combatant involved, so defense in depth is present. The missile battery would be a likely target, as would be any other launch facilities. Naval analyst Norman Friedman doubts the images of the college FARS test were real. The Iranians are notorious for faking tests and camera footage and for inventing entirely false but ingenious claims, said Friedman. 
he believes the missile is a prototype with no current capabilities other than to fool the Iranian public. The Iranians have to assure their own population that their defense will work, because if a panic sets in, the regime may collapse," said Friedman. It is already under considerable pressure due to economic trouble, not to mention anger over repression. You see constant statements in their press claiming that any attempt to attack Iran is doomed from the start.